Hi. Ever since I can remember, I've played video games. But something that's always been a dream of mine is to make a game of my own. About a month ago, I asked myself, what would it take to make my own game? So I decided to find out. First of all, what engine do I use? I was planning to make a 2D game, and since I'm a beginner, Unity or Unreal Engine felt a little bit out of reach. That is why I landed on Godot. Godot is an open source engine, which means that anyone can view, modify it, and distribute it. On top of that, it is completely free to use and you do not have to pay any royalty. With an engine in hand, I set out to learn the basics. Through watching tutorials, I managed to make my very first game. It's a basic platformer, but it was great to get the hang of the engine. After getting a taste of the game development, I was determined to make more. And I decided that I would reuse a formula that was sure to work. Roguelite games. I wanted to make a game copy, I'm, <clears throat> I mean inspired by a Vampire Survivor. A game I had dabbled with a little bit in the past weeks. So I did just that. I started by making a very ugly character and a small map. Just something that started. But no roguelite is complete without any. So I added a few of the... Maybe a little bit overkill for now. So let's get to work. We now have a projectile. Cool, right? No? They don't do anything. So let's add some damage pop-ups, animations, and the enemies die. It was at this point that I got the idea of making content. And let me tell you, it was a good idea. I started making short form content, tracking my progress. I managed to rack up over 18,000 views on my YouTube shorts, which I'm pretty happy with. I also uploaded to TikTok, but they didn't do as well. Still not that bad. Now that I'm sharing my game with the world, I want it to look a little bit more presentable. And I'm not really happy with that hideous thing as my character. So I made a new one, inspired by the old one. I'm pretty happy with it. After that, I added XP gems that the enemies drop. But XP is no good without a level up system. Now this part is where I ran into some problems. First of all, this was way out of my comfort zone, so I did have to follow a few tutorials on how to make the level up system. The tricky thing was to future-proof it so I could add more weapons and still use the same code. Now when I was making the pop-up screen for selecting the upgrade, I was running into a few problems. For some reason, this was happening. I added a background, but the same thing was still going. After god knows how long, I finally got it to work. But to be honest, I have no idea how I did it. But the number one rule of game dev is as long as it works, don't question it. After that little setback, I decided to add something much needed. I made the map infinite. By using a feature called Parallax, I only needed to draw one small section and could then repeat it infinitely. Since then, I've added a lot of new stuff. A main menu. Magnet passive item. Particle effects when enemies die. New enemies. And also, an evolution for the wet one. It's pretty OP right now. But uh, what's next? Well first, let's get the obvious out of the way. I plan on adding more weapons and items to the game, including more enemies and maybe even bosses. I would like to add some sort of shop that you can use currency in it to buy stuff in, I'm not exactly sure how I want to do this though. The aim is to add replayability. I will also be working to improve the art style of the game. 
adding better animations and art in general make a big difference. Right now the map is pretty boring, so adding more details and maybe even more maps would be a plus. For now however, I want to keep this game pretty small. I would hate to see it balloon into a massive project that I can't handle and be forced to abandon it. Depending on how well the future devlogs are received, I will of course adjust the scope of the game. If you guys are really excited to play it, I will add as much content as possible. Otherwise, it would also be fun to work on other projects. Be sure to like and subscribe to not miss future devlogs, and I will see you guys in the next video.